So Ben's doing a bit of work in the van, so I thought to quickly show you um, the Sirocco fan installation that he's doing for the kids' bunks, because we didn't actually um, get them with the van, because the kids um, don't necessarily love the wind blowing in their faces. So um, he's going to install one that's not going to be too hectic for them. So I think um, standard, you can get them with the in the bunks, one each bunk, and that's just a bit too much for our kids. So we're just going to get one, and we'll show you where we're going to put it and um, that's just going to be turned and then facing the kids. Alright, what are you doing here? Today we are going to install a Sirocco 2 um, fan from Cara Farmer. These are from Anaconda at the moment, they're $169. Um, the van came with one up the top of the bed and I've recently put two in the, in the cafe seating or the, the seating lounge. But now I'm going to put one up near the front door for the kids' bed. So, let's going to unbox this. So, that's your backing plate and your power point. Uh, well, your, your power cord, 12 volt. It's a beautiful bit of box. Instructions. If you're not confident, you can just read them. But I've already done a couple, so I'm not too worried. Right, so this is the fan. So the fan has three speeds. It's got one, two, three. And then it's also got timers. So that gives you, I think, on the side, you can see it. You can see it goes three hours, six hours, nine hours, and 12 hours. Um, the good thing about these fans is it, if it's really good. It does 360, or almost 360, up, down, all the way around. Pretty much there's so much flexibility of where you can aim um, the the fan speed or well, the fan um, yeah so I'm gonna go through and install it so first thing I do is it's always a hassle but I take these off you can use a spanner I'm just gonna pause at the moment down spin And spins. Yeah. Alright guys, to wire this up, you've got a plus and a minus on these cables. Um, Sirocco have a plus sign on that one, and then the minus has a full, see that stripe there, the solid stripe, so you know that's a minus. Alright, so what you do is you get your pos positive wire onto the positive thing. The easiest way is to hook that along, the, the nuts, the bolt's still sticking out as much as you can. So you need room for the, the wire, and then you hold it tight, and your locking nut goes on, and your bolt goes on. Just hold in tension, and be really soft. Don't try not to push that bolt in until it grabs. Done. Then you go for your negative, same process. Bring that over here so it's not in the way. Locking nut and nut. Tighten them up and nip them up with a pair of pliers or a spinner. Okay, they're all making them nice and tight. Obviously don't go too hard, but it's done. This is the mounting plate that comes with it. So the screws get mounted there and then the wires go through here. You can either go um, both wires through one, depends how many holes you want to make. Right, that's around the wrong way. Wires through the front. When you're mounting it, you've got to allow for enough room for it to clip on because, as you can see, let me go this way, it's the top and bottom. As you can see, once you've mounted it, you have to push it up, and then that allows you to screw these bolts off. All right, we'll go put it where we're thinking. Alrighty, so we've decided to put it up here um, at the front door. I'll just go grab it. I've already put the mounting blocks on. 
just so I can get a location. So what I'm thinking is, if we put it up here, it hits the kids' beds over there. So I can put, so obviously Indy's up the top, Axel's down the bottom. So this can go up there, you can hit both of the kids. Um, we we'll also put it this way so we can go like this and we can hit the kitchen like that. So when either of us are cooking, we can hit the kitchen. We can hit the cafe seat. We can always hit the front door as well. So we can stop the flies coming through. All right, we uh, got a crying baby. Yeah, so what we have to do now is we've got to find 12 volt power for it. Um, so the best way to do that is, that's the microwave cupboard. I just cleaned it out. Um, network, I've kind of done a bit of a dodgy job here. I just stapled this panel, but as you can see, it's moving quite a lot. So I'll glue that and staple it properly. Um, under here, we've got a 12 volt light that turns on and off. So that's where I'll get the power from. Um, it's constant power, so as long as I hit it before the switch, then that'll be great. So for that, I've got to remove this secondary filler panel, which is this panel. Obviously there's wires up here for that light. So if I remove this, then I can get to those wires. So four screws. I've already cut the silicon away. And there's two screws in there that I've already taken out. So now I've done that. It's really hard to do one handed. So I'm going to slide this in here and lift it up a bit. Okay. As you see, they've got that panel that's already been routed out. So that's the 12 volt in, and that's the 12 volt for the cables. So obviously we've got crimps here. I might just take those off and recrimp it. Um, and then, yeah, so now I've got to drill a hole into here. I've already started. I'll drill this hole so I can get a wire from there all the way through and then up to the, the fan. I've lost my film crew because Axel's asleep. Oh, he woke up. Make sure the jewel's on the front. this panel so what I'll do is I'll put this up and I'll come from this way as well I'm going to go ahead and mount this fan. So what I do is I get this in here and I mark the hole. That's the one I'm going to drill out. So I'll drill that out and I'll mount that and then I'll get back to you. Put my hole in my mounting spots. So in the back of this, there's two holes. Sorry. One there and one there on the back of the plate. That's for these little nuts. Some nuts slide in there like so. One in there like so. Like that. Sorry, it's really hard to film by yourself. This is that one. And there's another one there. What I might do first is get that. Alrighty, so guys, the camera overheated. So I put the first screw in 
that screws into the back of those screws that I put in. Now I'm going to put this last one in. It goes into that hole. Don't want to over tighten these. Like that. Alright, so that's mounted now. So obviously we've got kitchen. So that way. The van's a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, how did I have the front door? Yeah. Front door like that. Stop the flies. And then we've got the kids' beds, which are this way. So, kids' beds. I think it's a good spot. And then when we're, might move this fire ex extinguisher over, but that will go like that and lock off like that when we're traveling. So, I'll be fine. It's out of the way. Um, Another, yeah, the reason why we went there, because right down there is going to be a mission to turn the fans on and off, and um, they don't need that much air. Right, so now I've got to get this power cord, and I'm going to tee it onto that. So, I've done my hole over there, both sides, and then I've got to tee into that. Now, I am a builder by trade, but I do recommend, if you're not confident with 12 volt, to get a license. 12 volt technician to do it because um, there is still a risk of fires and stuff if you don't do the right thing so if you're not confident then get someone else to do it if you're confident then understand that you're taking on the risk but this is just my experience how to do it I'm actually not going to show you how to wire up because yeah I'll leave that for for you um, yeah so I'll take a photo after it's all done and then we'll kick it off from there Alright guys, we are all done with the wiring, um, so these are crimped, and then I've also heat shrinked as well. I always like to use uh, the heat shrink with the glue, so it really compresses really nicely. Um, then we come through, and then I've also heat shrunk and crimped these together. Um, they're quite small cables, so what I did is tie them together and then sh heat shrunk them. Um, with the glue, heat shrink it's always good because it, it's got a lining of glue that glues everything up so now we are on so power's back on obviously if you're ever playing with 12 volt turn your 12 volt kill switch off because that will kill all the 12 volt to the van so less chance of getting electrocuted so we've got one setting one setting two setting three and then this is the timing setting that i was saying so three six nine and twelve so that's all installed and ready to go. So now it is clean up time. So thanks for watching. Um, if this was helpful, give us a like. Any comments, just leave them in below and um, I'll get back to you. But yeah, so this is a great way to um, add value to uh, add value to your uh, van. A great way to get the kids cool. Um, cool. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, yeah, have a great day.